Hey everyone, this is Soul Invictus, and we're back to XCOM Enemy Within. Today, I am going to be advancing along our mission to defend the Earth from insidious alien invaders. Hopefully, I won't make any of the kind of exciting but ultimately unproductive mistakes that I made the last few times. Got some research coming up. A little bit of build, but we're not we're out of funds for the rest of the month. We're basically just gonna be spinning the globe and respond to alien threats. So let's see what happens. All right, so we finished weapon fragments. So like I said, um, <coughs> or rather, because we're in Asia, um, we get a significant discount to foundry and officer training school projects. So. I am going to rush this technology experimental has a warfare of potential applications. I'm sure the science team is eager so to that we get that foundry up and get it working. All right, let's spin the globe. Access lift is done. Don't worry about that for right now. All right, uh, so nine times out of ten, you want to do these. Actually, you pretty much always want to do these projects because they're just free money, basically. Um, so I have to sell a few things, but I'm going to build a couple of scopes, fill this request. I got ourselves some money. The only time you might not want to do that is if it requires you to use up a finite resource that you don't have a lot of. Um, I've never been asked for something that requires UFO parts, but that doesn't mean that you won't get asked. So, otherwise, that's always a good idea, or generally a good idea, because it's, you know, pure profit. Alright, Bonnie Allen's back to it. Additional workshop online. Got our workshop up. Alright, I'm gonna see. Actually, first let me choose a new research project. Alright. Oh, I don't have enough sextoid cor sectoid corpses. I gotta stop saying sextoid. Sectoid corpses because I sold them all. It's too bad. Um, SK will research alien materials I expected that would be a priority instead. Should get to biology up pretty quick. Oh. Um, because I have a little bit of money, the new engineers arrived this morning, if I can get We're always glad to have more help down here. Do I have enough power? I do have enough power. I don't have enough funds, so... I'm gonna sell a few more things. Uh, you really never want to sell weapon fragments. You need those pretty consistently. But Illyrium, especially this early in the game, is okay to sell. So I'm gonna click on the right things here. I'm gonna build a foundry. And the reason that I'm building it here is because it counts as a workshop for adjacency benefits, which means that. Um, I'll be getting increased discounts once that's up. So this turned out to be a pretty good month. Let's hope that I don't get anybody killed in the meantime. Commander, our satellite is prepped and All right, standing our by satellite's up. We are ready you want to wait until orders. pretty much the last day before the council report to launch your satellite because you could get a terror mission or your terror could spike, and you want to be able to respond to those threats. If you end the month and one of your nations has five bars of panic, they're very likely to leave the XCOM project. So you want to hang on to those satellites to the last minute and so you can respond to whatever you need to respond to. Alright. Keep spinning that globe. Spin that globe. Alright. This is good. Um, you want to do these as well because it's, again, pure profit. And as long as there's nothing going wrong, to the situation room, mild panic in some places, nothing to worry about. I'm pretty sure that the end of the month we're going to launch that to Russia. Alright. You know what? I'm actually going to do that. We are going to launch this to Russia. For that awesome reward so that we can... This is actually really exciting. I am going to get... Super early tactical rigging. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna get? I'll send word to the foundry crews. We're gonna get a shift too, why not? Um, since we've got 
satellite over Eurocon. I need at least one interceptor there. I like to have at least two. Or I like to have two, but well, ideally you have three or four, but one is the bare minimum. Two is safe in case one of them messes up pretty badly. You can send another one out. Alright, there we go. Commander, we're tracking Last several abduction. reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. So what I like to do, if there's nothing I particularly need, is, is check the map. <clears throat> so, if Africa or the United or North America came up in these abduction missions, we want to go there to reduce panic, but they haven't, so I can kind of just pick whatever I want. I'm going to go with engineers. And I'm going to bring Fisher. And a whole bunch of squaddies along. Yeah, I think that's probably safe. The mission difficulty was moderate, and it's likely to actually it will only be sectoids, so a bunch of dudes with grenades should be able to handle themselves just fine. Alright, let's get to it. to Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. Okay. Local government forces have reported... Argentina. Let's see what we've got. <clears throat> Actually, I know this map. It's a gas station. This is Big Sky. Strike team is Gotta watch out for exploding things, but otherwise it's Solid copy, Big Sky. not too difficult. Strike one is cleared to engage. Heading to that location. One guy around the side. Leave it. I'm gonna send DuPont. She's gonna go through this side. Roger, Dodger. And Wong Yang is gonna go there. Alright. Let's throw up our overwatches. succeed and not get murdered, you probably should be more patient than me, but I think I can move her safely there. So I think I'll move Fisher here without really turning anything. Alright, no aliens yet. Good. This is very good. My troops in really good position. Lots of different angles covered. Height advantage and all that, so when I trigger aliens who I think are over here, or maybe in here, definitely in this area. When I trigger them, I should be able to take them out safely. So, I'm gonna move Fisher up just a teensy bit more. No aliens yet. And I'm gonna move. Pont up. There we go, aliens. Okay. Alright, to two sectoids. Chance to hit, but luckily for me, I'm pretty sure I'm on the Yang can take him out. Grenade. Yep. Those can make this easy. Going out. All of these things explode, uh, which can make this level both easy and extremely difficult. I'm gonna move no over here. Oh, she might actually trigger some aliens. Nope. Okay, that was a little bit dangerous, but she's in a safe spot. Know where the meld is. I need to hustle to get to it. But that's okay. Actually, I think I'm not gonna be able to get that meld unless I kill the aliens. So let me check. No aliens in here. Uh, actually, wait. No, I'm not gonna be able to get it. I 
am gonna move Nur down here though. It's a safe spot. Uh, it's tempting. I'm on the move. Fisher up to here. Let's see, okay. I'm gonna lose that. I'm gonna lose that meld, probably, but that's okay. What was that sound? All right, Moving. nice full cover here. Got a visual. To it. Let's see what these folks do. Just gonna do this. Shots, maybe pick one off. Um, the dice. Adjusting sight. In the vehicle. I can move the Fisher. There's one or more pot of aliens somewhere. I should just be dashing around, but I think that I can avoid triggering them if I'm smart. Alright. No deaths. Got one guy in Overwatch. I wonder if we can kill him. Somebody's got to eat it, because I don't think I can kill him. So, dash, oh, that is. Magnifique DuPont. Yeah, somebody was going to have to eat that, so... This guy is flanked, but I think I'd rather just grenade him. 65%. It's nice, but not as nice as I can do. One more pod. And based on where the yellow line was, it's in this direction, so I'm gonna hang up. All of my rookies have gotten a kill, which is great. Which means I'll have three squads at the end of this. Even if I lose the metal, I'll be in good shape. Just need to not get anybody. Killed. Alien object inside. Okay, there's the melon. Nice. We've got lots of time on that. Devils. Excellent. Okay, we're in good shape, so I'm gonna move Dupont up. I'm actually gonna Off dash me. Fisher. And Target I'm gonna dash on our way. Over here. So that whenever aliens show up, we should be over here somewhere. She can get that delicious elevation bonus on them. What's making that noise? Okay. Oh, there they are. Hey, fellas. It's okay. I love you even though you can't get any hits in Overwatch. Okay. They're shifting their so I don't have any grenades really, which is unfortunate. That's affirmative. This guy flanked, so let's just take the shot. 
Boom. Yang already got his promotion. Alright. That's my shot. It's still just a 45% of this guy. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dash Fisher up to here. Which is risky. Especially since I'm sort of counting on her to survive. But, I'll move DuPont up into bad cover. To draw fire and we'll just take a shot with it. Okay. So let's see what the game is. Whew. Alright. I've got a grenade on Fisher. Which means I can just put an end to this. That's how you do it. Very happy with how that went. Took a few risks, but put my soldiers in good position, elevation, and got them behind full cover. You know, the sectoids got off two shots, which is two more than they should have, but um, I had prepared adequately. I could have dealt with my rookie taking a hit in that last round, but all in all, very happy with that went. I'm impressed you were able to recover so much of the meld substance without any casualties. Well, thank you, Dr. Ballin. Your vote of confidence is noted. All right. So, Yana Fisher has finally ranked up to Corporal. We've got two choices. Uh, sprinter allows a soldier to move three additional tiles. And Covering Fire, which allows reaction shots to trigger on enemy attacks, not just movement. That's good, but I really prefer to get positioning advantages and flank whenever possible and sprinter sprinter is just so useful um, it's not really about like dashing around the map it's about getting in the right position and those like three extra squares make a huge difference okay yang support DuPont, sniper and no army assault all right remember we're almost to the end of this month, so that's going to be it for today. Again, I'm Sol Invictus, and I will see you next time for more XCOM.